The exchange rate is now stable and we have paid up $7 billion debt owed by previous government. Adjuri Ingelali speaks. Really? Really? Are you sure? The news in detail. Adjuri Ingelali, special aide to President Bola Tunembo on media and publicity, has claimed that the Tunembo's administration has stabilized the exchange rate and settled the $7 billion debt inherited from the former government led by Muhammad Buhari. In addressing the federal, the, the federal government economic recovery plan, he stressed the importance of building a strong partnership between the public sector and private industry. In an interview with TVC News, Ingalali frightened the President Tunumbu is actively fostering a collaborative environment among economic mongers at all levels of government. He emphasized the president's commitment to consistently and sustainably involving the private sector in economic initiative. According to Nigeria, according to Ngalali, rather, this approach is vital for driving economic growth and ensuring that both the public and private sectors contribute effectively to national development. One of the key elements of President Tunumbu's strategy, as outlined by Ngalali, is inclusion of prominent figures from the pastor, from the private sector. He said that in case he stated that industry leaders such as Al Haji Ali Kudangote and Tony Elumelu are playing significant roles in the government's economic plans. He stated that the involvement underscores the administration's recognition of the private sector critical role in achieving sustainable economic development. Engalali explained that these industry titans bring invaluable expertise and resources to the table, which are essential for implementing ex effective economic policies. He said that by leveraging the knowledge and the capabilities of such influential business leaders, the government aims to create a more dynamic and resilient economy. Ajuri Engalali said, in recent times, we have not had a total of unification of the exchange rate and Nigerians have seen the evidence of our work. How? The exchange rate is now stable and we have paid up $7 billion debt owed by previous government. We have tr tried or we are totally, we have a totally different picture built on the handbook that has been done by the president in this administration. Now, let me say this. I hope that this is not going to, how am I going to put it? Anytime I see this um, special, what do they call them, special advisors, you get that they do me for body. First of all, they began with Adjuring Gelali, that's in the A2 president, Tunumbu on media and publicity, has claimed that the Tunumbu administration rather has stabilized the exchange rate and settled the $7 billion debt. So I'm asking, get it from Simone, and which of the debts? Is it the debt to World Bank? Is it the debt to China? Which of the debts? Because we need to know. They can't just come and tell us this thing and we're going to believe it. Which debt be that? Who collects the money? Who spend the money? What did they use and do? They should also be, you know, they're not supposed to be withholding this information from us. We are supposed to know. This government is built on lies and cannot be trusted for anything. Okay, we saw the stability of the market prices of commodities. I've been mean, stabilized on a buy. Make them leave me. This one never graduated for scam, like Lai Mohammed. This man must you talk. Exchange rate is at $1,500 per dollar. What did you stabilize? Please keep quiet. Thank you, Oga. You offset that amount of debt and debt borrowed how much? Exactly. If you want to come out on, like I said, where, what, you know? What exactly are you going to be doing with it? Where did they even make the money from? We have a lot of questioning to do. This Abino Akwe man, your currency is stable at what rich? How much was the currency before your Jagaban? Before you Jagaban yourself into power, you will continue deceiving people all the time. Abino, not a shame. People they give them audience now. People they give them audience. You borrowed one hundred and fifty billion dollars few days ago to pay seven billion dollars. What a failed government! APC failed everyone, even failed themselves as a government. 
criminals with fake promises and the governments like Lai Mohammed. All right. We find it difficult to believe this government because too many lies and few promises. Of course, today they are telling us that they are paying $7 billion. Next tomorrow, they are telling us they are on the moon. Next tomorrow, they are telling us they are with Queen Elizabeth, the one that have died. A lot of things are happening and instead of them to come out and be very, very open about it, they keep, you know, sinking themselves into this lie. What's the word that can happen? But have you not paid the promised living wage? But you have not yet paid the promised uh, minimum wage. All other debt you have paid goes to the issue as far as the people are still hungry. If your admin is not corrupt, you will ask Buhari to give account of what he did with careless and ceaseless borrowing. This animal thinks he's talking to fools or what? Mr. Jerry, what do you know about foreign exchange matters? Before wrongly raising the hope of Nigerians, where is the productive muscle of a country? There, okay, where, okay, Mr. Jiri, what do you know about foreign exchange matters before wrongly raising the hope of Nigerians? Where is the productive muscle of a country that will make the stability? Okay, where is the productive muscle of a country that will make the stability of the exchange rate happen? My own is that if they're coming out to tell us that they use. 100 billion dollars where is the money where did the money go to that is my own all right mr jerry talk of product to export for foreign for foreign exchange earnings can hungry nigerians get the impact of the debt allegedly paid off on the dining tables that is reflects on prices of foodstuffs to the market Order goods or services. Simply get yourself a share of what is being buried to squander or launder. Asked you about okay. Ask who asked you about the debt paid off, my dear. Some people, some people don't even want to hear anything. They just want. <laughs> it's not. It's not a. How, how am I going to put it? Some people don't care. You are using one billion, whatever, seven billion or whatever. They don't care. Just imagine this agent of darkness, how much was dollar when people snatch power and how much is it now? How much was Naira then? Then how much is it now? After a reduction, as you said. All right. At the end of the day, these people, men, I don't forget, say they don't have anything. They don't have anything good for a mind for both of us. They just want to, you know, whatever. All right, on this note, you have come to the end of the news. So thank you for... Tune in to listen until I come over next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.